Indian drone manufacturer Saga Defence is negotiating a $5 million contract with the Australian Navy for the supply of its Varuna human carrying logistic drones, that has a carrying capacity of 130 kilograms, a range of 25 kilometers, and flight time of 30 minutes. The Indian Navy has already placed orders for these drones, which will be deployed on frontline warships, including the indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikram, to carry personnel and cargo. US-based multinational corporation Rockwell Collins has expressed its desire to work on the Tejas Mark II TEDBF and AMCA program through its Indian subsidiary, for the supply of advanced structures. Rockwell Collins has also offered its expertise in all major applications like flight control systems and advanced materials, including acoustic low drag liners, thermoplastics, out-of-autoclave composites high-temperature composites metallics and additive manufacturing. Hyderabad-based Green Robotics has developed an anti-drone dome known as Indrajal, that will soon be demonstrated to the armed forces at an airfield in Hyderabad in the first half of 2023, that has the capability to protect a large area of 2,000 square kilometers from a single node against threats such as medium-altitude and high-altitude long-endurance drones, single multiple or a combination of UAVs, low-radar cross-section aerial threats, loitering munitions swarm UAVs as well as guided munitions. The Indra Gel will also be integrated with a hard-kill system, that will include smart missiles net launchers and mounted guns in certain military installations, and also soft-kill systems like jammers and directed energy weapons, to take out any threat that has made ingress into the anti-drone dome. Hyderabad-based Lokesh Machines has established a new division to manufacture defense and aerospace components. In the first phase, the company will invest more than 100 crore rupees to build a greenfield facility in Hyderabad to manufacture weapons and accessories, and this investment will be increased with orders in the future. Lokesh Machines has developed small arms with the support of DRDO and the Indian Army, and its trials has been successful. The aeronautical development establishment is looking at a quick turnaround for the Archer NG program, which will be nearly identical in all major sensors and components with the Tapas drone, and share same subsystems, as well as frontal fuselage, engine ground control system and wings with new design elements. The fabrication process of first three Archer NG has already started, and the first flight is planned for June this year, and will complete the developmental phase before 2026, and will enter production from 2027 onwards. Hindustan Aeronautics is actively considering to use internal funding for the Indian multi-role helicopter program, instead of waiting for projects sanctioned by the Cabinet Committee on Security, to avoid any delays due to bureaucratic process. HAL has already completed preliminary design work, and the next step would be to develop prototypes for carrying out developmental flight trials, followed with creation of production facilities costing 11,000 crore rupees. Oh, my God.